Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution. Today, we're going to take a look at our new hero, Pandemonium, in PvP. I also wanted to note that I'll be live on Twitch Sunday, this Sunday, which is the 19th of March, at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. UTC start time. Come join me. I really love Twitch for the live stream experience. And yes, we will be playing Eternal Evolution for the stream for once. So you guys might have seen my last video where I actually quite had fun with Pandemonium in Twilight. He works perfect against the boss for, well, the new tank boss, right? It's kind of makes sense. They release new boss and they give us a hero to actually work successfully against it. So that boss does uh, have immunity to crowd control except knockdown, which he has knockdown on like all of his skills. So he actually comes in handy. He is also based on his max HP for damage. 16% of max HP to all enemies. We got... 7% uh, of max XP to all enemies, which goes up. Same thing here again. Damage equal to max HP. And yeah. So, pretty good, right? Now, this, I mean, I could be wrong. But it doesn't say enemies max HP. So I believe this means his max HP. Zyda has the same wording. And I think there's a couple others as well. But... It doesn't say the enemy's max HP, so I believe they mean his HP instead of like defense based for damage, etc. But again, I could be wrong there. If you guys have 100% clarification that I'm wrong, please feel free to let me know. And if that's the case, I will make a pinned comment or note in the description if it really is enemy max HP, but it does not say that. So I'm taking it as it's his HP. So I went, of course, and focused HP for damage, damage reduction, HP, and HP percentage, of course. But I did, I, okay, here's my reality. Like, obviously, a lot of the characters on our accounts require a lot of the same gear. So I went ahead and put a crit rate set on him. He only has 23% crit rate. It's not like he's critting all the time. But it's something, it helps, maybe. I could actually build a full crit rate build on him and give that a try as well. But I do want him to be a little bit of a tank in the process. So there is that. <laughs> um, he is a bit squishy for a tank, it feels like. But his defense is pretty low for the build that I did personally. But I also don't have an obviously exclusive 30, which would give him more stats. Um, I also probably, let's see... There's nothing else I really could max that would make that much of a difference. It's such a baby amount. It's really not that important. Nope. Um, but yeah. I really like him so far. I think he's fun. But he can crit. I've heard people saying he can't crit. Yes, he can. This skill does not say cannot crit. His ultimate can crit. His common skill, number one here... This skill cannot crit. Okay, so this one skill. The second common, this can crit. And there's nothing about his passive that says he cannot crit any longer. And there's nothing about the talents that get added that say he cannot crit any longer. Same thing with his exclusive. Nothing says he can no longer crit and deals true damage. So yes, he can crit. So if anyone's saying he cannot crit, they're wrong. Only one of his common skills cannot crit. If it was both of them and only the ultimate could crit, you could debate it's even worth it. But I kind of think that Pandemonium is a damage dealer in disguise. I would also like to test him in a pure damage build with 
like 60% crit rate, crit damage, and then HP percentage for all the stats. I do want to do that in the future and probably will soon because I think it'd be fun. Uh, but for now, we're going to work with that. I'm also working with some other tanks. So we, of course, have Zyda. I finally got my Zyda to Immortal. I was only one away. And I had um, one of those S triple S cards from recruitment event ready, and I just grabbed her. So she is also... So, okay, this is the difference. Zyda, it says, inflicting damage equal to the target's max HP. Zyda is an enemy max HP champion, not Pandemonium, unless they worded Pandemonium wrong. But here, okay, shield equal to 14% of max HP. That's a shield based on her HP um, that she gives herself. Again, max HP for her, more than 6% of Zyda's max HP. So this is very clear. I think both her and Pandemonium are uh, based on HP for their damage as well. She's not a great damage dealer from what I saw in Twilight, though. Even though I had her built pretty similarly to Pandemonium. Well, she has no crit, to be fair, but 20% crit I don't think would really allow too much to happen to, at the end of the day. I do have her in a shield set with damage reduction boots because that's what I had on her when I pulled her forever ago. And you know what? My gear's limited. It's not perfect. I left it. I left it as is. Didn't change it. She does only shield herself, it seems, unless her exclusive gives her a shield to all enemies. Yeah, I kind of wish she shielded everybody. Why does she only shield herself? Shield... Cast receives a she receives a shield. It's so weird. I feel like she should um yeah can put a shield on herself on right, everybody. She's a, a triple S after all. So with that in mind, I actually do have Hercules in here in a shield set because he actually can shield everybody. And I have big fat shield on him. He does not have damage reduction boots. He has HP boots. So that way I can put a big fat shield on everybody else. Cause what is it? Is it where's the shield? The target will receive a shield. Provides a shield to all to allies for 12 seconds. Like, he's all about providing shield and protection. So I kind of felt like he would be a fun one to play with. Um, Exclusive-wise, again, I don't have exclusive 30 on anybody. Everyone is just exclusive 20. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to see, can we use the new commander? Uh, can we have a little bit of fun? with the idea of a new tank meta for sake of arena. And I think my answer is yes. <gasps> my battle record's gone. We have to go fight them all over again. So I was, for some reason, I kind of thought the battle record would still be there from the next day. I never noticed, I guess. But I did a bunch of battles yesterday with my tanks versus a team with Leo in them. So I fought against Leo team specifically. Can the new tank meta be the new anti-Leo meta. And it's at least an option. My answer is yes, I think. I really do. I do think that the tank, the new tanks, in pandem including Pandemonium, uh, that combination in Arena is successful against a Leo team. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some of my uh, top level teams. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So I have Zyda, Hercules, Masrani, and I have Res boosting Pandemonium here in the back. I also have the only, I only have one Aubeck that I pulled. I just put the first one I got. Doesn't have anything for their ultimates. Back attack, tank defense, at, or damage reduction at least, and middle defense. That's about it. Nothing fancy. So let's go ahead. We're going to do this. I'm going to do a bunch of battles, and then we're going to take a look at a couple. I'm going to skip them. We're going to watch some. Victory. Typical Leo team with a Bailey damage dealer. Beat it. All right, let's go to a Leo team with summoners. Now, this I do not think is successful. I don't think this tank meta is good enough against summoners. Because summoners, I mean, there's just so much crowd control to be had here as well. Defeat. That's what I expected. We're going to take a look at a couple defeats and we're going to take a look at a couple of successes, <laughs> victories. So let's take a look at Fenix. Again, this should probably be a defeat. So if you have a Leo team with summoners, is the three tank thing worth it? No. This is what my testing has proven. So we do reduce the shield and lifesteal of all enemy units by 40 
50% up to 80%. So shield and um, lifesteal effects, it's not really the case in this comp to begin with, right? So we're not really helping too much with having this triple tank bomb, but I'll do it anyway here. Defeat. So let's go ahead. Let's go find another. Can we find one that's not? Okay, here we go. Assassin team. We've got two assassin. We got Rickert and Bailey, and we got Leo and Crete. Let's see how we do here. Victory. Okay, I like it. Let's see if we can find another one. Oops, I don't want to fight my claw people. Except odd one because he won't care. Um, odd one. What's he got? Okay, Odd One has three vanguards. He has the Hagridon bonuses, taking advantage of three vanguards in the team, plus a Bailey. Let's see how we do against Odd One. Defeat! Oh, he got me! That's the first one that got me! Okay, okay, okay. Good job, good job. So, I think that's an option, though. Like, I'm actually quite impressed with the successes. Again, I definitely think the summoner meta is... Um, a bit hard to beat right now oh shoot i lost my here we go okay here we go what about a mixture a leo and crete and a anpu and a daniel i think the crowd control is gonna win yep the crowd control is winning it's still kind of fun to see though um like a little bit more typical leo team this does good against right so i wouldn't say he's definitely not or this idea is definitely not an anti-summoner meta, but it might be an anti-Leo meta. All right, we only got, we have Daniel and, hmm. We have Daniel and the twins in one Leo. Let's try it. Victory, okay. So it's just fun to see the variety of what's winning. Let's go ahead and watch one of these victories. So this guy's pretty good, Fraser Luke. Odin's really Odin's one of the top in my server as well. Let's take a look at this battle. Let's see how we're resulting. We'll watch the damage just because I'm curious. So I feel like Pandemonium is kind of they're trying to make him be like the damage dealer, like the Leo for Vanguards. Of course he can't survive quite as well. But yeah, I had a lot of fun playing with him in our in twilight so i was like let me bring a tank team into arena i mean the whole point would be a full tank team on defense right and i put my tank in it looks like i've had no bat nobody has fought against me with my three tanks so okay we only have zyda and pandemonium alive with a barely masrani and he's dead so it's just pandemonium and zyda alive with no more healer bailey and Crete and Masrani are still alive. I would not have expected to win this. Especially with Bailey still alive, because he would just slice through pretty quickly. I feel like, but no, like he's okay, he took out Pandemonium. Zyda versus Bailey. Look at my Zyda versus Bailey. She's just like, I'ma out tank you. I'm just gonna out survive you. Wow, this is fun. What was the spinny spinny kick you fall over? That was great. So, okay, Zyda was kind of the MVP. I mean, Pandemonium did most of the damage, right? Let's find, let's look at another one that was successful. What was this one? This one was a double assassin, double vanguard, which is a pretty logical team for a lot of people still. And Leo, of course, as, as at the front. Pandemonium is just killing it with the damage up here. He's not taking as much damage. I did put him in the back on purpose because I know he's a little bit... He seems a squishier because I don't have as much defense on him. But they're just destroying. Look at Pandemonium. I have Rez boosting him to do the damage to, to kind of clean up. I could have Rez boost like Masrani to heal more. That might be kind of fun. But either way, we just destroyed that team with Pandemonium as the damage dealer, which I think is fun. So again, not anti-summoners. Let's see what happens. Do we just get out crowd controlled? Let's look at one of the fails. Actually, it's interesting. To, that was a fail. Um, Odd, Odd One's team beat me. Of course, I could try it again. I mean, to be honest, it's so much RNG. One attempt. Uh, you could win one. You could lose once and then win every other time, you know? Uh, let's see. I think he had... Who had... 
All right, he, Rossick is like the top guy in my server, typically. It's usually me, Odwan, and Rossick, and like maybe Haven as well, and Fenix. So we are definitely going to get crowd controlled. Oh, we didn't. Okay, oh, uh, Hercules did. Maybe if I had Boar or Oak in here instead of Hercules for the shields, maybe I could have some crowd control myself. But yeah, they just shredded. Like, they absolutely destroyed me. Zyda soaked up a ton of damage. And then we were just left with Rez. So the summoners definitely are are strong against this tank idea. So you're probably pretty, it's pretty safe to say if you see someone going into the arena defense with the full tanks, your summoner team with the Leo is probably going to destroy it. But you might be worried if you have just a Leo based Vanguard or Assassin team. Oh, what was this one? Oh, this was, right, okay. This was, see, this was triple vanguards as well. All right, that's right. This was triple vanguards. I wanted, to, I can't remember if this is one we watched or not. Um, but this is triple vanguards. Odd ones was just better. So, uh, it's actually my Hercules here. Oh, Hercules and Pandemonium are attacking... Leo. By the way, guys, we should not be calling Pandemonium Panda. For one, that's not how you spell his name. So many people are saying Panda. I'm like, Panda? Panda is like Senway or Liren or in the Enlightened Bear. Panda is Senway at the very least. Or, or I guess Peeler Panda is Liren. But this is, let's just call him Pan. You know, like from his Dark Materials, it's Pan, like Pantomime. But Pandemonium is Panda with an E. Pandemonium. I keep seeing people typing panda. Like panda. It's not even spelled that way. Pan. I'm gonna call him Pan. Oh, this was the one where it was Zyda versus Bailey. Okay. Or was this the second one that was Zyda versus Bailey? No, this is the one we watched where Zyda's just like, and bye? Right, right. Just do her little flippy flippy. Whoop. Yep. Okay, this is the first one we watched. That is so much fun. And that, yeah, that was triple vanguards and we won. So... It's pretty good to see me uh, being able to have some fun with this. Now, again, is it the answer to everything? No. Could I put in a different... Let's actually, you know what? Let's try... Hmm. I wonder if we try a different... Let's, um... I don't think this is going to work, but let's go ahead and try a different... Tank. Let's try Boar. Just for the hell of it. Still defeat. Okay. I was like, you know what? I mean, I don't think he's going to give enough crowd control. Or let's purposefully fight the same person. Was that, wait, was that Odin? Let's see. Oh, Arius. Okay. We're purposefully fighting the same person. Let's go. Okay. Let's go to Arius. Where he's our test dummy. If you're watching this later, we're doing it on purpose. I know I'm losing. It's fine. <laughs> so... But to be fair, it's like, yeah, when it comes down to it, taking advantage of this tank bond is better against other heroes that are going to be applying shields or doing lifesteal, like Leo does lifesteal. But um, it's not necessarily going to be good against summoners because they're not shielding and lifestealing very much. Now, are they? Let me throw Oak. All right, Oak on the front. I don't think it's going to make a difference. No. Okay. Yeah. The summoners definitely kick this team's butt. So tank meta anti-summoner? No. Tank meta anti-Leo? Potentially. But hope you guys enjoyed this little fun test and playing around with the two tank heroes that are kind of coming back into light. The Coming back as in Zyda. I don't know that they're really worth it in the end. And at the end of the day, I mean... Pan uh, pandemonium is fun but is he gonna be game changing not really i don't think but i am gonna try to use him in some other areas but for today i figured we'd just play in arena so <sighs> all right guys i will catch you in the next video